Columbia Zoo, once proud franchise, magnificent and glorious zoo, biggest and greatest on the western coast of North America, boasting many unique and distinct animals, guests from all around the world traveled to see this beauty. But that now seems like an age ago, distant memory of sorts that is no longer true. Years of poor management, unnecessary financial risks, theft and subsequent disinterest led to rapid decline. Magnificent domes turned to rubble and what was left was quickly taken by thieves and nature reclaimed the rest. All that's left is couple of small enclosures and buildings slowly decaying and rotting away. The zoo is barely hanging on the thread. And that is where we come in, as a manager that cares, as a manager that will take no compromises, as a manager that will see the potential of this beautiful land and makes a quest to restore the former glory of one's famous place. Welcome to the Columbia Zoo. Hello everyone, welcome to my new zoo with new DLC out. I can't wait to get my hands on it. But first, let's review what we got so far. I hope you enjoyed the little prequel, a little storytelling, because I wanted to start this zoo with uh, with something interesting, really, um, to catch your eyes, to uh, catch your interest. Obviously, Columbia Zoo right now, remnants of uh, once famous zoo, but. Uh, it shows that it's uh, been on a big decline, those fences are falling apart, so does our shops and uh, so does our staff facilities, which is lacking a little bit of roof and more. And the animals, um, we have something already, but those are just the shadows of a former glory, right? So. Uh, with this little bit of storytelling, I want to upstart new YouTube series. I'm Bobson and I welcome you. I'm really glad. Um, I can't thank you enough for your support you show me through the Outback Zoo. I thank you for all your comments, all your likes and uh, because you are watching it. I continue to uh, shoot new videos, so hopefully we will uh, reach the former glory of the zoo pretty soon, pretty soon. So uh, let's do some management first, show you around what we've got and what animals we already have, even though it's uh, really nothing spectacular. So to the left uh, you can visit in our zoo our reindeers, well one reindeer to be honest with you. Um, this one is Agatha, it's a pretty old adult female with uh, genetics not so bad so we have a lot to do here if we want to make her happy and uh, hopefully get some uh, juveniles here. So um, this one, yeah, not too, sh not too great, not too great. Though on the right side this is our pride of our zoo right now and I think even the bisons is, yeah, it's most appealing animal, so uh, let me show you, let me show you. So this is Muffy, right? This is Muffy, our little female adult, we are expecting offspring, so good things happen to us uh, despite the tough times. So fertility, immunity, not so great, but we have some longevity at least. And this one, oh, that's, that's the most... Uh, <laughs> most do and greatest really animal right now we have that's the pride of our zoo he's called Bulsi he's a alpha male in our paddock and size and fertility gene 100% so I think I think uh, it's the it's the least thing that goes well in our zoo so um, we will continue manage closely those uh, two little enclosures we've got and uh, once we really hit of that uh, DLC content because obviously that's where we are going. We will return back to uh, those enclosures and uh, make those uh, animals uh, feel a little bit more welcoming, a uh, little bit more at home. But uh, let me pro let me not <laughs> prolong this any anymore and um, I, uh, I invite you to the speed belt of uh, the North American Otter's Habitat. Have fun guys! All right, all right, um, please allow me start with a little bit of a shameless plug in here. I do have Instagram in uh, case you wanna follow me and uh, see the some, some pictures of my uh, builds beforehand. I do have uh, 
uh, the Discord server setup it's a really quiet place but in case you wanna you wanna share some of your zoo pics with me or any and or have any any like feedback for me I am always glad I always welcome comments and try to reply to all of them as usual I would like you guys to um, uh, catch up uh, with me in uh, this zoo and uh, s m make you part of it so I'll be as usual offering you a chance to be one of my zookeepers or to help me name the animals because sometimes I really do struggle with the names for the animals because I am a uh, I am not native English uh, speaker, right? You already uh, know that probably. In case you are wondering, I am uh, from uh, Czech Republic. Uh, that, that, that's not any, any sort of uh, secret, right? Uh, so uh, that's uh, pretty much that uh, about uh, personal stuff. I do like the DLC a lot because it offers uh, something different, right? We've been all waiting for this like for uh for for the god gods and gift really just something else because uh those uh savannah and uh those lions can get pretty boring after some time we just we just need some new mechanics and we've got that we've got that oh boy uh what a surprise what a pleasant surprise i think the diving is is, is really magnificent and I hope they will add this ability for the diving to the other animals as well. I know they did it for the crocodiles, how about the crocodile? But we already have uh, much, much more animals uh, that can dive, like the polar bear and uh, I don't know, uh, can't think of any from the uh, top of my head right now. But hopefully uh, they will add this ability to the other animals as well uh, because the, it, it would add a variety to them and uh, also allow us some uh, more interesting uh, uh, types of habitat to build um, so uh, this one yeah let's <laughs> let's talk about this one right what it is about and uh, um, you, you saw the thumbnail so you know I'm going for the uh, otters but in a way I do stuff differently and uh, you know I always try to uh, start new DLC a little bit different than what the others do uh, the reason being is that I do not have uh, the early access like the big youtubers so uh, that's why my uh, video is uh, a bit late than what you can see on, on the big ones but I, I guess that's okay right you've been busy playing anyway so uh <laughs> probably no issue there um but in case you do not have your otter's habitat yet um i can offer you a lot of inspiration hopefully though what i am doing for the otters is a little bit of different what you will probably see and uh, by the way it is on the workshop right i will provide this this habitat on the workshop as usual uh, you know i like to do that so uh why it is different right why it is different well the giant otters are tropical uh, animals um, they do live in uh, south america in the amazonian uh, forest or s something like that but uh, my columbia zoo is in uh, is based in uh, the taiga biome right and uh, i thought we can use our imagination just just a tad bit and uh, we are going to pretend that we are actually having not the giant otters but the north american otters which are a little bit uh, smaller and uh, I, I guess i mean i'm not really that good in biology so there will probably be some uh, some small differences uh, other than that um, but we do not have North American uh, otters in game, right? So we are using the giant otters and we are just kind of kind of pretending that uh, those are the North American uh, otters What that actually means is that we are building uh, this habitat fully in a taiga biome in mind like making uh, some uh, some really nature uh, and uh, some uh, area that is typical for the North American otters and that means that regarding the foliage and terrain we are 
uh, not following exactly the in-game requirements of uh, those authors. So in case you get this from the workshop, I have to warn you, uh, your welfare will not be 100%. I mean, the forage is not a big deal for the animals. It's going to be like 98% or something like that. There will be a uh, lot of forage screaming at you. Hey, I don't feed these authors. Well, whatever. Um, in reality, uh, those animals don't care if uh, this is taiga rock or if uh, uh, that particular tree is uh, native to uh, their homeland, right? They do care about the temperatures a bit, so I might need to put some heaters uh, here and there. We will see how the welfare is <laughs> going on when there's uh, snow coming, but, but anyway, um, I made this nice shelter, by the way, just just going on in in the background, which is great for the otters. Um, so in case you wanna you, you wanna have some shelters for some smaller animals, for example, I think it could work well for the pangolins as uh, as well, right? Uh, but uh, getting back, I I <laughs> did I just got sidetracked, yeah, as I always do. <laughs> so uh, it's going to be full nature, full nature uh, habitat. We are going to use a lot of rocks, lots of foliage, uh, but that also means that there is no room for those new fake rocks, which are excellent. I mean, they are recoverable. There are so much excellent pieces in that new DLC and uh, we are not going to use a lot of them, but I do like it a lot. I do like there is a lot of like statues and uh, small decoration, the wall murals, everything looks really great. And those recoverable uh, rocks, I think there are many, many ideas already that uh, in my head that you can do with them. And uh, we will definitely use them later on for, for the penguins and for the seals. But uh, for this uh, particular habitat, I want it really for it to blend in uh, the surroundings of this uh, taiga zoo. Let's just uh, pretend, uh, you know, if we, if we just, just keep on the storytelling, let's just pretend that uh, for our first project to rejuvenate this uh, Columbia Zoo, we do not have a lot of money. That's why we just uh, turned the creek that is already there in the zoo. We turned it somehow in uh, to the habitat for the otters and uh, really that's uh, no expensive animal to have if uh, we pretend that's North American otters because they are uh, pretty much native to the area we are in. So it's a, it's a first project how to uh, get back on track with the zoo to attract some uh, new guests really and uh, start up on uh, some uh, nice and uh, pretty uh, habitats in uh, in in there and uh, we will continue so with uh, the penguin seals uh, pretty soon let me know which one you would like to have for the next episode i am still not decided so uh, you can influence that if you would like to do so um and so so probably we will uh, do all the four animals from uh, the new pack before we get back in uh, to the beginning of the zoo and start uh, renovating the areas that we already got there you know just just keep the story storytelling somewhat intact it's uh, it's uh, what i will probably um, try to do um, i will try to come up with a new episode every tuesday so watch out for tuesday uh, as uh, the day that the new columbia zoo will come out uh, in case it's not there, that's probably I just don't, um, for some reason I don't have uh, time to do it. And uh, you know, it's it's Christmas coming, right? So I don't know how about you, but uh, <laughs> there are some people that uh, for them, uh, the actual getting Christmas means a lot of lots of free time to play. Well, for me, it's quite the opposite, actually. Um, we are taking and hitting the road with the family, really visiting uh, the grand, uh, well, parents, grandparents for my kids. Um, and uh, I will not have uh, my computer around and uh, my game. So uh, that means there will might be some uh, lag in uh, terms of episode around the Christmas. 
Hope you understand. If you have kids, you will uh, probably definitely understand because they are they will not be in the kindergarten and uh, stuff like that. So uh, you have to you know really watch out for them. And uh, I don't know about your children, but m my kids are uh, just um, too young for <laughs> for the uh, PC game. So I'm. Um, really trying not to uh, play when uh, they are around my older son he gets very curious and i'll be doing uh, really nothing just explaining stuff to him because he's uh, curious like crazy and uh, you'll be asking and he will be of course wanting to play with me and uh, you know then when you play with kids something you are not you are not getting much done really <laughs> but it's fun with him it's definitely fun Oh, okay, uh, I got sidetracked again a little bit. But anyway, getting back to, to my build, um, be careful with uh, the diving. I mean, the animations are great. I really love it, the fact that the uh, animals are diving. But you need to have the depth at least four meters for the diving to happen, or at least for the animals to be happy with it. But if you do that and then place uh, lots of foliage, lots of rocks, lots of uh, dead trees in uh, the bed of the area that is uh, with the water, it will, um, it will impact dramatically the area that is available for uh, the swimming and for the diving. That's why I have to redo the area a little bit and really lower, uh, lower the bottom of uh, that pool a little bit because um, I've uh, made a lot of a lot. I, I did a lot of stuff there. Um, really placed in a lot of a uh, lot of foliage and a lot of stuff, and it did destroyed. It it destroyed the um you know it destroyed the uh, navigable area for uh, the animals dramatically. So take care of that. But if you get this from the workshop, um, did I mention it to you or not? Not sure though. You can find this on the workshop as usual. You will find your link in uh, the video description. So if you take this from the workshop, um, it should be fine and um, it should do for uh, the otters. Uh, all you really need to do after you placing, you can use the usual green red uh, show me hide me sign. You know how that works. And uh, then you can uh, use uh, for this upper part of the viewing gallery uh, there are some uh, gridded blocks uh, laid on the floor so you can use that uh, as a base for uh, the grid uh, for the path and it will align perfectly and then you will obviously need to uh, adjust the barriers because i wanted to save a lot of uh, a lot of uh, stuff that is not within the habitat barrier and it will not it, it would not save so that's why i uh, had to move the body a little bit just for the purpose of uh, the blueprint so in case you have the blueprint uh, you also uh, need to run uh, the glass barrier down here just what i'm doing and then where are the rocks you can use either concrete or glass um, both will do and it will hold the water in actually so uh yeah just just a heads up about that but if you if you are uh, not having otters in uh, your zoo yet i'll i'll be only happy if you take any inspiration from me or if you take the blueprint from me and place it in your zoo let me know how you like it um i do like it a lot it's uh, it's definitely something else hopefully than uh, everybody else is doing it's what i'm trying to do but then we will get to the to the usual stuff you know there's only so many ways you can uh, do the penguin habitat right um <laughs> so uh but we will be touching on that in uh, in the next episode and uh, i think i've talked enough i will talk s a little bit more but uh, the uh, <laughs> the speed bill is coming to an end and uh, i will see you in the live part guys <laughs> guys look at that it's dark out there and it's snow in here i'm so used to the desert zoo that this is kind of unexpected but uh it's 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 turning into the 
well cloudy day yeah we are going to have to cope with bad weather a lot of time but uh, before we start reviewing or anything and before we get some sunlight uh, let's look at the animal trading we need some otters in there oh boy it's that's bad that's bad so uh, we are going to try to buy some poor ones at least so uh, Felipe it is Paloma probably yes um, let's uh, buy as much as we can this one is a little bit better but at the same time he's a little bit more expensive but uh, what about refreshing the list a little bit try it for one more time nope <laughs> oh boy oh boy if we can uh, <laughs> If we can have some juveniles we will sell them and we will be rich like some uh, some shakes right so uh, let's uh, move them inside because I would like to see them in action I would like to definitely see them in action because I think those animation could be pretty nice um, so this one and then this one we do have one though um, even even though I'm not sure we will see anything so this is fluffy fluffy hey you uh, can I like yeah center camera on you okay <laughs> she's hiding in the flower beds that's just yeah that's just what we needed so let's let's take a take a tour take a look around how um, how are we doing regarding the time maybe we can speed it up a little bit just to get some sunshine in so uh, this is the welcoming sign we are we, we are having so otter creek it is oh we are getting some sunshine already perfect let's slow it down a little bit otter creek i like those statues a lot a lot this this and and this fonts really the new fonts they are new fonts uh you probably uh heard me saying that those uh, creepy fonts we had just the one it was terrible oh and we can have some animal talks what is it's December so can we like set it to giant otter and uh, January water obstruct food throw a new educator assigned okay okay some new management stuff all right so we need an educator there you go there you go buddy let me let me tell you something can you uh, sorry <laughs> I mean the other way can you tell us something oh it's happening Wait, waiting to start an animal tour. It's January already. Oh, it's it's ee, we did it. <laughs> we did it. Let's let's take a look at that actually. Oh. Oh, that's some sort of a French, I guess. Whoa, <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> Oh my, oh my. Hey, um, I want to tell you this. Um, this sign is in the workshop as well, doing fine. Um, lots of downloads of that. So in case you want some, uh, some uh, wooden stuff around uh, this ugly pole, uh, you can download this from the workshop. I will provide the link as well in the description. Okay, so the animal talks are actually, are actually quite success. That's nice that is so nice so ah look at this view the bubbles here um uh, where are our otters and oh they are yay oh no we missed it we missed it ah uh, they are having fun in the water look at that Woo. okay where are you buddy where are you is this one okay sorry i need to get better with the camera work paloma uh, i actually like paloma na paloma name so we are going to keep paloma okay you see it working it's working oh man and everybody has that animal talk where there are no animals in there oh man love this love this big props to the frontier developers for uh making this possible and uh did you notice that the water is somewhat nicer than it was before i think it's it's like more greenish more bluish really really better oh look at that view little girl i think you are enjoying this one right um let's take a look thoughts the zoo ticket price is great okay uh you are probably way too enamored what what you're seeing so no thoughts yet oh they are going into the water 
all of them that's great so I did make some uh, stuff for them to use because I know they usually uh, live in near the rivers uh, so I made a lot of clutter here and there and uh, this uh, little like um, I pretend it's a log that is empty inside so that should work and I carefully, carefully placed this food tray right here so um, they are lured to this area from time to time for people to see uh, the animal talk is over yay and uh, yeah overall I think it's pretty cozy and pretty fitting and uh, this underwater uh, area is great too I do have some education in here going on in case you wanna get that from the workshop as well and uh, let's take a look so we do have um, fluffy Felipe um, I don't like that name a lot let's let's call you bingo um, it's going to be our father or dad so um, that's what I'm using or not D yes like this so we have bingo fluffy and Paloma can we get some more I think they can uh, go in uh, bigger groups actually let's uh, take a look so uh, Zupidia I don't know I don't know honestly I don't know um, group size 2 to 15 okay okay that encourages us to get some more oh oh man 10,000 leaves <laughs> no way no way and these are all males so this one how about this one I like this one let's buy him and uh, move him in uh, to our enclosure a bit and uh, you are quite cheap right so He's going to be cheap just like that I mean nothing complicated if you have any suggestion for me I always welcome that but I think this habitat looks spectacular spectacular so uh, let's do some management um, okay this little corner the new part of our Columbia Zoo is spectacular while the other part is not so much not so much <laughs> nothing changed here it's all pretty much cramped but we do have this little animal and uh, it's called embrace whoa I did not name her embrace that's just the in-game name and I love it embrace oh and it's gold Woo! that's amazing embrace I'm going to embrace you I'm going to embrace you you are little bison of me yeah for us just destroy this little cozy moment we had you you muffy yeah I should call you poopy instead of muffy what all right that's more fitting um and we should definitely get some uh, male reindeer for the Agatha poor Agatha is uh, so alone here so alone how can we do that to you how can we do that to you let's uh, get you to, 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 to let's get you some mail from the animal market so any species and reindeer reindeer da, 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 da. okay there we go hopefully there is some so this one for fifth 550 okay yeah I, I I want you I want you bad <laughs> okay um, let's name you um, let's name you wanna bet we not wanna bet yeah wanna bet yeah it's wanna bet um, like this okay welfare is what oh that's that's right I've been talking about this right um, I need to put on some heaters because those otters are not used to this biome oh man but it's okay that's okay look at this I love it when it snows it looks so good and uh, so white all right all right guys I think that's enough for today we made some progress we created this awesome otter creek habitat which you can get from the workshop and enjoy for yourself I will put on some heaters so my uh, my animals aren't that unhappy and uh, I expect you to tell me what we are going to build next and I uh, hope to see you in the next episode really guys have fun and uh, goodbye